Welcome back to another video on Vedic Astrology. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Jupiter transit that happened on 14th of July 2015. This transit is valid until next year, August 11th. This video is for all those people who have their moon over this particular point in the sky. This is uh, referred as Taurus in English and Rishabha in India. If your moon is exactly on the border of these two signs or maybe just enter the sign at zero degrees, then the effect of this Jupiter transit has already begun for you six months before and it will end six months before it ends for other people born in your sign. So in the same way, if the moon is right in the middle of the sign, then the date of transit of Jupiter applies to you 100%, meaning that the effect will begin exactly from the date of transit until the time Jupiter transits into the next sign next year. But if your moon happens to be here, in that case, the effect of Jupiter transit will be postponed by almost six months. If you are here, if the moon is in the beginning of the sign, then it is Kritika, then you are a Kritika nakshatra person. And if it is over here, you are a Rohin Nakshatra person. And if it is over here, Mrigashira 1 and then Mrigashira 2. So you will have to keep an eye on this. If you don't know where your moon is, you will have to look into your computer horoscope. Look for uh, degrees and minutes for each planet and you will find whether it is at 0 degrees or 15 or uh, close to 30 or anywhere in between. And then and adjust this by yourself using the formula that for every 1 degree, there should be an adjustment of 12 days. This is based on the idea that uh, Jupiter takes roughly one year. Jupiter takes one year to move from one sign to another. There are 30 degrees. So each degree is most probably going to be covered in 12 days. How do we count the houses uh, with regard to the transit? We count it from the moon and not from the ascendant. So these are the numbers. This becomes the first house, second and third. So before this transit happened, Jupiter was in the third house. And on 14th July, this Graha just moved over and he is right now here. And after some time it will be here and so on and next year he will be here and then he will cross over. So let's keep it here. And this Jupiter is right now in your fourth house. The transit of Jupiter becomes very important when Saturn is not favorable. If Saturn is favorable, then a good transit of Jupiter is very good. In this case, in your case, Saturn is not well placed. Because he is in the 7th house, the transit of Saturn over the 7th from your moon over your 8th is all considered unfavorable. The classical textbook which uh, has given a lot of information on the transit of planets, Faladipika, says that whenever Jupiter goes over your 4th house, there will be sorrow. Sorrow that is related to your relatives, blood relatives or distant relatives. This may be also tensions of fight with your relations. Humiliation also is possible in general when Jupiter goes over the fourth house and danger from quadrupeds, meaning that those that have four legs. In those days, I think uh, they were referring to the animals, bulls, any animal that could hurt you. Sometimes it may include even an elephant. So, but today, uh, since these are not so easily possible, it is possible even now. Because I see on YouTube videos, people getting stamped by animals. Some of them invite trouble, they go towards the animal. Um, Bullfight and so on. So all this is possible uh, when uh, Jupiter is in the fourth house from your moon. But quadrupeds may today mean vehicles. Of course, you can argue that uh, nowadays vehicles have six wheels, not only four wheels. So it's up to you to... Uh, decide on what this actually may mean in uh, modern times. But generally, we can say that uh, there is some danger with, uh, you know, caused by vehicles. Uh, these are very specific uh, results attributed to Jupiter being, uh, Jupiter going over your fourth house from your moon. Uh, the other general results are, uh, if you know what Jupiter means, um, Jupiter means money, so pressure, uh, you know, related to uh, finance, your wealth, income, all that is possible when Jupiter goes over the fourth. Jupiter is also called as the 
putra karaka so concerns due to children is possible jupiter is the ruling planet for teachers school college professors in all these areas there might be some issues the fourth house in general is uh, also vehicles or comforts so your comforts might uh, there might be some problems related to your comforts jupiter also rules gold there might be loss of gold uh, that is kept in your house that's also possible maybe you can minimize all this uh, by using your free will not that you will have to experience all this as it is said and in any case you can't decide uh, solely based on transit uh, dasha bhukti which is your ruling period the planets that rule you right now has the mahadasha and the antardasha they also have a great role to play it's always a good idea to refer to your ashtaka varga of jupiter whenever you study the transit of jupiter look and in, look into your computer horoscope or uh, if you are not having one you can download jagannath hora and uh, cast your own horoscope and you can look for uh, the points obtained by jupiter in its ashtaka varga over this particular sign leo how many how many points did you get is it 0 or is it 8 or is it half way through 4 so this uh, is something very specific to your chart uh, so it it has a lot of value so if it is more than 4 uh, whatever i said um, some of the challenges will definitely be lesser for you and uh, greater the score the better it gets but if it is 0 or 1 or closer to 0 and less than 4 then uh, you will have to be a little extra careful Uh, with the indications that we have just uh, pointed out whenever it comes to the transit of jupiter keep an eye on this table in this table you can see the good houses of jupiter jupiter in the second the fifth seventh ninth and eleventh whenever it comes into these houses from your moon sign it's very favorable and uh, during such times uh, when planets move in the corresponding houses uh, for example if it is occupying your second then uh, if a planet goes through the 12th the good results are blocked in the same way good results are blocked even the negative results or the bad results also can be blocked so let's look at this uh, second uh, column over here how you can use this uh, during this transit because you know jupiter is going over your fourth house therefore you can use this particular column and you will see that if planets move in the fifth house it blocks the bad results of jupiter being in the fourth so during this jupiter transit you have to look out for planets in transit of course going over your fifth house and your fifth house is kanya or virgo so when planets move through kanya then during that time as long as the planet stays in kanya ill effects or the challenges posed by jupiter in the fourth will be blocked during such time i hope you will use the information that i have provided it in this video in the best way possible so that most of whatever has been indicated will not happen in your life for those of you who believe strongly in remedies the easiest way to do the remedies is to concentrate on which planet is unfavorable during transit and offer your prayers on the corresponding day for example we are reading the effects of jupiter so it refers to thursday so offer more prayers on thursdays worship the gurus uh, for those of you who believe only in charity and in that case you will have to give away a lot of value items it may be clothes it may be fruits vegetables or anything economically well off you can always give 1 gram of gold to a poor teacher if you refer to the internet you can find a lot more remedies connected to a bad jupiter transit and uh, you can make an attempt to reduce the ill effects of jupiter going over your fourth house thank you for watching this video